Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. So, we have here a XP shop. Dang, okay, yeah. So anyways, as you can see right here, I'm level 30, right there. Um, and it says right here, one Damon's War for 20 levels. So, we can just click the button. Takes away 20 levels, brought me down to level 10, as you can see here, because 30 minus 20 equals 10. We all know that. And I got one Damon's Sword. So now let's go over here and look at steak. Now I said one steak for five levels, that's a bit overpriced, but you know, whatever, inflammation, you know. Okay, so I'm level 10, and if I buy a steak, got gave me one steak, and it subtracted five levels. So I'm guessing how you wanted to know how I did all this, uh, no, how I did all this stuff. So let me put myself in creative really quickly. And yeah, um, once I get all the items, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, and we can begin building this. Yeah, so be right back. Once I get all my items. Yeah. Hey guys, and we are back. So, we're going to be explaining how to build this thing. And yeah, obviously you can tell when you're going to need command blocks. And obviously not in a creative inventory. In order to give yourself a command block, you give yourself look, give yourself something. And you give 137. That's the ID for command block. And give yourself however many you want. So I won't give myself one. Because I'm creative and I won't need any more than one. So let's get on to building. Uh, first let's just pretend to build a frame. Let's just build it right here. A tiny little frame. Like this, and that works. Okay, made out of gold. Of course, because this isn't Sky Server. Um, so, let's begin building. Uh, first of all, let's just put a bun. Let's just say we're going to sell... Let's see, what should we sell it for? So we're going to sell one bow. One bow. For, let's say, 12 levels. Okay? Um, you put your button here, so if the button is pressed, that means it will activate any redstone right on this block. So, if we can place a redstone repeater there, or a piece of redstone, uh, dust, doesn't really matter. Command block there. Oops, actually, I want to use iron, because it sticks, stands out. Here we go, and one more piece. There we go. Uh, let's put that there. No, nope. ah, oh, fire truck. I'm OCD about stuff like this. Okay. So, um, basically, now here's the command for the entire thing. Let's just put an uh, iron block right there or something. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if you go over back over here, and let's just say I want to buy another piece of steak, if I stand on this block and someone else were to buy it, it'd give it, it wouldn't give it to me because it's too far away. Okay? So, be careful when you're buying. You can always set something, which I'll show you in a little bit, but be careful when you're buying that no one's standing next to you and buying something too. Okay, so let's get to the commands. Now, the two, two commands I'll be giving you on these command blocks can be interchangeable, meaning you can flip them, doesn't really matter. But let's just say, give yourself the idea of a bow, which is 261, I believe. Yeah, 261, I think. So give, um, at P, meaning nearest pay player, right there, nearest player. Now, you want to see nearest player in the radius, because if, if you don't um, put a radius, it'll go as far as anywhere in the entire basic entire world of Minecraft. So you want to put a radius, and let's say radius is about, let's see, one, two, three, four, about four blocks. So you're going to put radius of four, that means four blocks, any player, nearest player within four blocks, and any player bef uh, um, any player ahead of that won't be given nine. So 261, ID for bow, and then one. So, oh, and another thing we probably should add is, <clears throat> when you give it to yourself, we we'll do ML, meaning the you have you have to have at least this much of um, this much experience. You want to give your and that means um, ML stands for minimum level, meaning your level has to be at least uh, we said 12 levels. So then you just bring that and do a comma. And yeah, the ML means for minimum level. That means your level has to be at least level 12 before you can actually give them the item. Now over here, we're going to take away XP. So XP negative 12L, meaning take away 12 levels, which the L is what the L stands for. At P, nearest player, within, oh, let's count, uh, one block, two, three, four, five, six, about six, so we're going to put six in here, R equals six, meaning radius is six, um, ML, meaning minimum level, has to be at least 12, and put uh, a uh, bracket, click done, and that's basically all there is to it. Now, if you tried buying something, standing on this block, tried buying something, it wouldn't give you anything, because you're not high enough level. So if I were to give myself about 12 levels of experience, if I click this, oops, let's stay a little bit closer to block. Ah, let's see. Oh, I know. 
you have to have a space in there, I believe. I don't exactly remember the exact things, but I think this is right. I'll have to make random adjustments at times. Yeah. Nope. Sorry for this inconvenience. I do not know it perfectly off the top of my head. So, I have to improvise. There we go. Let's see if that works. I can't tell. No. Oh, I know why. Obvious. Never mind. <laughs> back track. Back to what we were doing. Uh, let's see. Let's change each radius a bit higher because these blocks are raised one block higher than any other blocks, so obviously it's going to be more than this. So we're going to put five. Radius of five. There we go. And now we can buy it. Uh, let's do that. Gives me a bow and takes away 12 levels. The reason why it didn't work is because, as you can see, this block is raised up one block. And if any of you know tr um, geometry, type hypotenuse is always longer than the leg. So yeah, that's why you have to raise by one. So. That's basically how this works. So now you have less. Um, you have so let's just clear my inventory. So now I took away 12 levels right here, as you can see, taken 12 levels from luckily the HD and given a bow. Now, when I said you can interchange these, they're interchangeable. You have to you have to change the radiuses because um, the block is further apart from that um, buying spot. I guess let's put time set there. So yeah, you're gonna have to change the radiuses to fit how far the block is away. But Anything other than that, you can change. You can just flip it around. And yeah. Uh, now, if you want to do with anything else, you just change the ID number and give how many you want. Like, if I wanted steak, I think it was like 364 or something. If I want 5 steaks, you can do that. So, yeah. And then here's the same thing. Uh, that's really about it for this episode. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I really want to explain? Oh, another thing. A uh, word of warning. As you can see here. Oh, I actually messed up with the commands. But, um... You want to have at least one block of space right here uh, between the two uh, buttons because if this is right directly next to it, when this um, repeater powers this block, also powers that block, which basically makes you buy both items, which is not a good thing. So yeah, make sure you be careful of that. I think that's really about it. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. So hope you learned something from this episode this is an XP shop meaning taking away levels from you to buy an item um, if you did like this video and you learned something hit that like and that subscribe button really helps this channel grow all likes comments and subscriptions are appreciated this was luckily HD and thanks so much for watching see you guys in my next episode